Now, Chebet Rono has decided to choose violence because she is not coming for the cheater. You know, the perpetrator of the sin. She is coming for the victim. Because why are you the victim? Forgiving the person who is stabbing you in the back. That's the question. But she didn't say it in a kind way. She just straight up said, if you forgive cheating, you should lower your IQ. As in, there should be an automatic response in the universe. You forgive a cheater, your brain is like sliced in half or you remove a slice just for you to not be using those extra cells to do absolutely nothing. She went on TikTok and went on a rant talking about um, if you have forgiven cheating, <coughs> begin <coughs> the self-love journey. Tafadali, if your husband or life partner has cheated on you and you have taken them back, you have forgiven them, you've gone back to their shoes, you are a rat dog. As in, it just escalated very wildly. You're a rat dog. At this point, what is real, you have listened to the lies and he has, you know, explained everything. It actually reminded me of Grey's Anatomy where um, the doctor, um, the, the girl, the Chinese girl, it was, it's, it's young, um, who was getting cheated on by her husband and for her to heal. She told the husband, for me to heal, you need to tell me step by step what happened, you know. And every day, anytime I ask you what happened, you should tell me step by step where you met, the first time you hit on her, what happened, how many times you've done it, where have you done it, was it nice? And you should answer all these questions truth truthfully for me to figure out if I'm going to forgive you. If after a while I am okay walking around with all this information, well and good. But they really didn't last long because somebody who's betrayed you like that, somebody who's done you dirty and embarrassed you like that, and then you forgive them, it's really, really, it's a difficult place to be in. Because if we're being honest, even people who forgive cheating don't tell other people about it because of the shame. You're so ashamed that your partner your person is out here just <coughs> doing you dirty, just <coughs> embarrassing you, not giving you the exact or the same devotion that you're giving to them. You know, it's really a lot. And even the comment section, you know, it was just a lot of clownery going on with some people defending the cheetah and saying, you know what, maybe, but you see, he said he's sorry. If he said he, if my man said he's sorry, it means he's sorry. Somebody else said um, he explained how it went in and he took him back. The drama. And a lot of people actually agreeing with Rono and some people saying we do not like this tone. If you f felt triggered by, rant, uh, by Rono's rant, please look into it. Somebody else saying, Madam, this table you are shaking has expensive liquor on it, so stop what you're doing, okay? And yeah, I think it's the same thing, you know? Don't leave it <coughs> and always being, you know, unhappy and ashamed and being in this situation. Get out. Get out of it. Yeah, I think um, it's the um, dignification of it. It feels like this person you have held at such a pedestal your relationship was good according to you in your own mind you guys were in love you were happy everything was okay mm. only for you to find out that apparently one person was not happy and it feels like such a lie it feels like the, the your whole world that has been you know taken from right underneath you and you can't really tell what is true and what is false anymore you can't trust your gut because if you trusted your gut and this person was lying then like it it, it just unravels so many other um truth systems that you have reinforced within yourself and so for that reason it becomes practically impossible to accept um the lies of this person because you're never too sure are they lying are they telling the truth mm. but relieving th that that part where she says you sat down with this rat bastard mm. and this rat bastard explained to you how they cheated how many times they cheated even explained exactly like that how mm. he was going in and uh, you know wow, wow and and out of this person <laughs> and you sit there and you're like yeah babe it's okay i understand completely like, like i just i feel like you should bruh there's no you're feeling just leave i don't i don't think i can forgive cheating it's the mm. one cardinal sin for me i cannot forgive it it would take it would take 
so much out of me and I would never be the same person after that. So I don't personally think I can forgive it and I don't personally think I would be in a position to do it either. It's okay to be tempted. We're all tempted. It's okay to look at other people and go like, mm, you fine. Mm. But don't cross that boundary and now make it a practicality because oftentimes it's it's never even that um, that good and even when it is now you want them more it's just it, it just opens up so many other problems personally i don't think it's for me and i wouldn't recommend it for you either however i believe rono calling them rat bastards hmm? rat dogs is okay that's her opinion let us stick to her opinion